welcome to our program. I want to thank all the Cellar Size family members and anyone who might be visiting. We want to talk a little bit today about abs and how to build up the abs, how to see the abs, and all of done through Cellar Size because that's what gave me my abs. But we also want to encourage you to share this message with other people. So for those who don't know much about me, my name is Dave Hall. I've been promoting the whole rebound mini trampling industry for over 30 years. And I've taught people about the differences of what makes a good rebounder versus the typical rebounders that stretch out, are too jarring, can cause pronation, are too sluggish. We have to have resistance and we have to have movement. And the cellar sizer has that perfect combination that we've experienced for over many of us well over 25 years now um, that we're going to be talking a little bit about today. So I'd like to begin a couple of important messages. One, why did the gym goer do crunches while holding a cat? Because they were trying to get perfect abs. So we're going to be talking about abs, so I thought that might be appropriate. What's it called when you refuse to do core workouts? Abstinence. All right, enough of that. Let's read some, some questions or uh, share some uh, customer reviews. Then we'll read some questions. Brooklyn is here. We had a little trouble getting started, so thank you for your patience. And thank you for Brooklyn for being here. If you have any specific questions, now is a great time if we don't cover them um, tonight, just go ahead and type them in so that Brooklyn can feed them to me. All right, some of these I think sound familiar. Um, Dalian, thank you for sharing some of these customer reviews and questions for us. Alicia writes, I wanted to write to let you know what a miracle your cellar sizer has been for me. For the past couple of years, I've had leg and knee pain and it has gotten worse over time. By March of 2020, my leg was aching so much that I could no longer drive or, or walk more than a block or so. I went to several doctors over the past year getting MRIs, CT scans, and even switched medical plans to see if the new doctor could help. After spending over $2,000, the only answer was physical therapy at $40 per visit and drugs. I am not on any drugs and did not want to start now, especially since there was no cost found other than a bit of osteoarthritis. At this point, I was helping a renter, I have an Airbnb, and noticed a mini trampoline set up in the bedroom. The renter told me all about the cellar sizer that she had been using for over seven years and even brought it with her on vacation. It helped her back problems so much. She saw my pain and loaned it to me. After just three days, I felt better and I decided to invest in one and purchase a cellar sizer for myself. I received it and started with a simple five to 10 minute routine each day and watched many of your YouTube videos. After only two months, my leg went from seven to 10 pain level to a zero to three. I was so amazed. I'm able to drive and go for walks once again after at least a year of not being able to do so without pain. This week, it will be five months and my, le my leg is no longer hurting. I believe in this so much, I signed up to your affiliate program and I'm recommending it to everyone. After seeing the change in me, three of my friends have all also purchased. At 62, I even began to wakeboard this summer for the first time. I just wanted to thank you so much for giving my life back. I'm now stronger than I've ever been in the last 10 years. From not being able to walk without pain to wakeboarding with no pain. Thank you, all of capitalized exclamation points. Now I'm off to jump for joy on my cellar sizer. Thank you, Alicia. That is so exciting. And thank you for those who are sharing the message with others so that they can improve their quality of life as well. I appreciate that. Rod writes, I went to the doctor last week for a routine visit and discovered I've grown an entire inch since last year. As a young adult, I stood 6'2", but I've typically, typically measured 6'1 for some time now. I'm 48 years of age and have resigned myself to the loss in height to one of the inevitabilities of middle age. 
At the announcement of my new height, I'd smile, recall, recalling your own story of how you grew taller with this cellar sizer. I wish to thank you for this midlife growth spurt and to acknowledge how much fun your cellar sizer is to play on. After years of doing yoga and tai chi, this is a lot more enjoyable and efficient. I am delighted to be your customer. It has saved me time and in the end, innumerable dollars. A good investment indeed. And I wanted to thank you very much, Rod, for, for sharing that with us and let people know, yes, the cellar sizer costs a little bit more than typical rebounders, but there's a reason for that. The quality of the steel that we put in the unit doesn't stretch out. You will not stretch it out. I'm going to show you something. This unit right over here, Brooklyn, I'm going to need you to, if you can kind of turn the camera a little bit. Oh. This unit here is a brand new cellar sizer. Can you see this, Ricky? Mm -hmm. Okay, brand new cellar sizer. I oiled it just a little while ago. I want you to see what a little bit of oil does, even with a brand new cellar sizer, when you use the three-in-one oil, which is what we use, the multi-purpose oil. So I'm gonna step on it, and yes, it's a new unit, so it has a little, little bit of sound. So I, that's not the spring, that's the unit hitting the floor. It's very quiet. Now this unit here, this is my unit. This unit is 19 years old. It has been all around the world. It's had thousands of people jump on it. It's the exact same springs. I've never replaced a spring in any of my cellar sizers ever. The mat material is the exact same mat material. It's 19 years old. And the spring cover was replaced once. Because when I travel around, Sometimes I'll be in the middle of the street, I'll open it up and, and work with people, and when I open it up on the street, it was, it was getting a little warm. So, but that still, that, that spring cover is many years old. We make a better spring cover now. When I stand on it, I want you to listen, because, and I share this because the competition is out there disparaging our unit, trying to say how squeaky it is. And yes, it can be squeaky. Anytime steel rubs against steel, it can squeak. But you put a drop of oil, a couple drops of oil on both ends of each spring, and it starts to polish itself, and it gets smoother and smoother and quieter and quieter. And if a baby was sleeping, you want to step on the unit quietly and start bouncing up and down. There's no difference between this and the quietest unit out there. That's the cellar size of it. Again, it's no different than anybody else's. This is a tri-fold cellar sizer. It can be very quiet. But the advantage of this, after 19 years, it's the same bounce as a new one. I don't have to replace any of the springs. The mat material, it will not stretch out. You've got a, if you've got a cellar sizer, you've got a great investment. I see some being sold online Get a second unit. If somebody is selling a unit, they don't understand the advantage of this cellar sizer and they have it at a discounted price, grab it. It's something you can use for the rest of your life. Your children can use it. But they are, they create resistance. If units are too soft or sluggish, and you've heard me talk about it, you don't have the resistance. You're not gonna get the benefit. It's gonna be very sluggish and so is everything else. So this, you're moving up and down over a hundred times per minute and you're pumping those valves, you're increasing oxygen, blood flow to the brain, you're creating resistance, you have to have, it can't be too soft. You have to have resistance to build muscle mass and bone density. And that's what the cellar sizer is going to do. So thank you, Rod, for sharing that, and thank you for, for all of you for sharing the cellar sizer with those people you care about. All right, Luann writes, I purchased the cellar sizer from Dave Hall about six months ago. I have problems with the horizontal abdominal incision hysterectomy for five years. Dave taught me step by step how to use the cellar sizer to strengthen the area and break up the scar tissue. I had, <coughs> I had dramatic results within the first week. What I thought could be a worsening lifelong problem is gone. Luann, thank you. That's inspiring and it's going to help others as well. All right, Susan writes, I've gotten my 10 minutes on my cellar sizer twice this week, and I'm happy I know that I've started out my day successfully. Cellar sizing outside is the best. 
what other piece of equipment could you leave out there? Definitely not a treadmill or a bungee unit. <laughs> and thank you, Suzanne, you're absolutely correct. And I've got a unit that's been outside, oh gee, Brooklyn, it's probably been 17 years. Out in the sun, the rain, the snow, we still use it, it's still out there. The, we took the spring cover off because that didn't hold up, but everything else is great. Every other unit we compared it with, including the bungees, they all disintegrated. Shalom body and wellness rights. It's all true, exclamation point. I have a cellar sizer and a Bellicon collected over a year period, but never really committed to using it daily because I thought I have to do real workouts. <laughs> I love that. <laughs> and I understand it. Which didn't happen very often either. This week I've been rebounding on the cellar sizer. I can take that one outside and with some strength stuff and oh my gosh. I am, of all things, more flexible. I can feel my fascia throughout the body, have more energy, and am toning up quickly. I've done a lot of working out over the years with kettlebells, that were my favorite, but that is quickly changing. I like to tell people rebounding is the healing workout. Everything we want plus health, amazing. And so thank you very much for, for sharing for sharing those uh, customer reviews. Please keep them coming. There's so many of you that I've talked to even last week who had some great customer reviews. Um, I know you said you'd write them again. Please, it makes a big difference to all of us who have a chance to share in those, those uh, experiences. Okay, question, is there any advantage to increasing daily rebound time beyond 10 minutes? Or are there adverse effects from increased rebounding that would offset any benefit beyond 10 minutes? Of course, it makes to determine, it depends upon what kind of unit you have. But you know, I've, uh, I've cellular sized virtually for two and a half days straight, and all I did was burn calories. I'd lose up eight to 10 pounds, and I just had to back off of it because that was too intense. But other than that, no, I was in some of the best shape of my life when I was doing it for longer periods of time. But uh, now I just basically do my 10 minute routine and that's, that's it. Everything that you see is all developed on the solar side or so. I'm not a bodybuilder. Meg writes, um, bit of a cold at the moment, so I just did health bounce for 10 minutes today. Pulse got to 176, which is past my maximum heart rate for my age. I didn't feel breathless and I couldn't feel my heart beating at all. So just wondering if other people get super high heart rates when using cellular size or low key moves, or am I just super unfit? Well, maybe you challenged your body, no, no question, but if you were fighting a cold, we get on that cellular size or we run as fast as we can for one minute, we can increase the number of active white blood cells in the body by 10 to 15 times. You pull out an army of people or army of uh, white blood cells that can go after any lingering viruses and germs. And one of the advantages of cellular size is it just makes it easier on the heart. So you're pumping with the heart. If you have a medical condition, of course, consult with your doctor or health practitioner. It can be indicative of something else. But we have many people that have had heart issues that have found cellular sizing to be the most important thing that they can do for their own physical health and, and strength. And we've had many people that have had heart issues where that has been mitigated or reversed substantially while using the cellular sizer. So again, if you have a health condition, consult with your doctor. Feel free to have your doctor give me a call. But realize when you are moving up and down with the cellular sizer, you're working with the heart. You're pumping with the heart. That makes it easier on the heart. Pam writes, I would like to know more about how rebounding can be used to improve brain health. Okay, well, when we're cellular sizing, we're moving up and down, we're using up to 90% of, percent of our, our brain. Uh, we're having to, to maneuver and hold balance and do different movements. It, it's a huge amount of stimulation. And as we're increasing oxygen and blood flow to the brain, if you want to memorize something, try it on the cellular sizer. Put something up, uh, if you want to read scriptures, read the scriptures, memorize them. You want to memorize some affirmations, those are great. 
memorize the affirmations while you're on this solar cipher. If you want a better relationship with your significant other, your your husband, wife, get on that solar sizer and visualize yourself having a better relationship, responding better. Um, visualize your relationship with your children better. Visualize your your ability to work as better. See it in your mind first and see what kind of impression that has on the brain. We, we're training athletes now where they they see their mistake, but then they see them correcting the mistake while they're on the sizer and with phenomenal results. So there's a lot that we can do as far as brain health or memorization for brain activity. We're increasing oxygen blood flow. We're stimulating a lot of brain activity. So yes, we've even taught children who have dyslexia bouncing up and down while they were reading just normally on, on a, a television monitor. So there's brain activity that's occurring. And we've had uh, various different schools throughout the country that have used this for their children as, as well. So, good question. Gary writes, can we make the seller size or tax deductible? I don't know, if anybody has an answer for that, please let us know. Um, uh, there's probably a way you can do that. I don't know how to do that, Gary, but um, if you have a doctor that can prescribe it for you, that might be something that you can work with as well. Rita says, what moves can help the psoas muscle? We talked a little bit about that on our last program. The uh, psoas muscle is a deep muscle on the, this side of the, the, uh, the back. It's, it's deep, it's really deep. And doing things where you're lifting your arm up, tilting a little bit, bouncing, and just doing some stretches, that, that can help this movement right here, which is great for the back, for the hips, for the lymphatic system, for all the ligaments and tendons along the vertebral joints of the back. Though <clears throat> that can all be very helpful as well. Leaning forward and kicking your legs out behind you. I don't have the balance bar on right now because I want you to be able to see some of the movements we're gonna do in a moment, but holding on to that balance bar and leaning forward and kicking your feet out behind you can also help to create some strength in the back and and uh, flexibility in that slouch muscle too. Effective way to stretch the quads. I think we talked a little bit about that last time too. And, and just, just a real quick recap. Bending over here, standing up, leaning a little bit, holding the foot up, um, these kind of movements, which you see um, on the program we did last week, can be very, very helpful too. Biro writes, hello, I live in Spain. Just got a solar sizer. I am lady, 64 years young. It's great. I, would, I wish it's the, it's the best moment of the day to exercise. Which is the best moment of the day um, to exercise? is best not after eating. It is best to do it in the morning, I believe, because when you sleep at night, your body is not very active and things slow down. Um, fluid moves into different areas of the body, into the, our eyes and we get a little puffier. We get on that cellar sizer in the morning and we start to move up and down. We activate the lymphatic system, we prime it. Millions of one-way valves start sucking and so we're moving up and down it's the wake-up call. Thyroid, adrenals, endocrine system, everything. It's physical, chemical, the whole body is gently being expanded and, and contracted collectively together over 100 times a minute. And as a wake-up call, it breaks up sticky blood cells, helps the back flush valves, gets rid of trapped blood proteins, can help with circulation and extremities, all areas of the body. It's just, it gets the body moving so you can have a better day, feel better, perform better. What period of time after eating? Um, that just, just depends. Most people will wait 15, 20 minutes. Although, frankly, if you eat a big meal, getting on the solar size or right after the meal, just don't jump high. Uh, just walking in place, doing hip rock helps to improve that digestion elimination processes without 
uh, causing too much stress or tension. I feel it can be quite a potent exercise. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Beryl. It really can. It stimulates and works with everything. Darcy says, I would like info regarding exercises to help strengthen the pelvic floor. Good question, Darcy. We are going to talk about that moment. I had a phone call earlier today from Israel. So one of our, one of our customers there. And she was talking about um, a prolapsed uterus and how to approach the cellulizer in a way that she can help build and strengthen that whole pelvic um, floor or region. So we're going to come back to that. Bill says, what exercises are best to work out muscle knots and the traps and how do you increase circulation to the shoulders? And great question. Try this one. Just get on that solar side or put your hands on the deltoids here and bounce up and down and feel them. Feel how they are expanding and contracting a lot, but you're automatically pumping circulation. The, the cell tissue itself is expanding and contracting to help loosen up inflammation, increase circulation. It's all weight bearing. So things like putting our elbows in front, putting them over our head, putting them up to the side, doing some of the shoulder movements that we teach while you're on the cellar side here to open up, grabbing underneath the elbow, pulling it to the side. We have all of these movements on the Mr. Rebounder app as well and more, but that, that can all be beneficial. And oh, there's, there's, there's a lot more shoulder movements on that app too. But Alice says, our cellar size is good for heart health. Oh boy. Yeah, I, I would think so. <laughs> we have got some great customer reviews. When, when blood cells, when the body becomes acidic and blood cells get sticky, it's harder for the heart to pump sticky blood cells through capillaries and, and it's, it's harder on the heart. So we move up and down on the solar sizer and we actually assist the heart in moving those, those blood cells through capillaries, but we help break up sticky blood cells, making it easier on the heart as well and helping to improve oxygen, blood flow, and nutrients through the cell membranes, so the cells can become, they literally, we've watched underneath microscopes, they become more imbibed with, with more fluid, and that can be beneficial to you. <laughs> you need to go back the other way. <laughs> Sorry, little <laughs> Oh, that's interesting. Okay, so what we're gonna do right now, we're gonna talk a little bit about stomach muscles. And let me start that as an introduction, because I wanna take that part of our program, we're gonna separate it, so if you, want to just look at the different techniques. That's what this is all about. So what we're gonna talk about right now are how we can see the stomach muscles. I know many gentlemen who have six packs that they carry around with them all the time and it's not the, the six pack muscles, it's more the, the bellies. And, and they've got strong stomach muscles but you can't see them. And unfortunately, it doesn't matter what kind of sit-ups you do, these muscles here are going to be too small to burn off the weight. So we want to burn off the weight, both underneath the stomach muscles as well as on the surface. And we do that with aerobic activities. So we've got to do the aerobics to really increase the metabolic processes. And we want to do them in sessions as repetition so that we can burn off the glucose and sugars in the bloodstream and then continue to place a demand on the muscles and so that we will burn off more fuel. We call it the white adipose tissue. So again, getting on the solar sizer, we're gonna start off with aerobics because that's how you're gonna to start to burn off the weight if you happen to have some weight here. And that's, again, do the warm up, which is great, and then repetitions. Remember the biggest muscles of the body have the greatest demand for fuel. They're located in the thighs and the buttocks. So we're going to learn to love and hate the jamba run or jamba walk, but holding on to that balance bar here, which is pushing down into the mat. And that pushing down is going to work these muscles and you're going to feel it. And when you do and they get tired, then you stop. Gently bounce up and down, lift the calf muscle up to feed more oxygen. The body needs oxygen to burn off the fuel and to utilize nutrients. So we're bouncing up and down, lifting the heels up and down, until, and we're priming these muscles with more circulation 
so that we can burn off the fuel. So then we get back and now we're doing it again. That's going to be the fastest way to burn off the excess weight. You can do additional things that help burn off the weight and start to also strengthen these muscles here. And you can't do it on anything other effectively other than a cellar sizer. You certainly don't want to try this on a treadmill or on the ground because it would hurt the back. But when you're lifting your knees straight up, you're working all these muscles at the same time. So what we're going to do is we're going to do a high knee um, run or sprint. And that's going to work core and that will work the core. But if you want it to be even more efficient or effective to get to these muscles, then we're going to run in place and tilt slightly backwards so we leverage the body weight right here. So it's more weight bearing and that's going to build these muscles all the way up and down the whole stomach wall because you're leveraged this, this whole body. Yes, you're lifting the knees up and now you're tilting. The moment you tilt, all of these muscles have a lot more weight on them. And that's another step to do both combination aerobic as you're losing weight and the isotonic or building of those muscles. And you can do it slower, you can do it fast. If you do it fast, you're going to eat up the glucose and sugars faster. You're going to increase metabolic processes faster. And your body's going to learn faster how to access and burn those excess stored fuel. So this, uh, yeah, just says move it. And if you're tilting, you won't go as fast as if you're leaning forward. But the objective, if you're working on the stomach muscle, is to work here. Now we can add more leverage develop the muscles even faster when this is how I did it is you can hold on to that balance bar tilt backwards slightly so all the muscles tense up you can feel your muscles they're tight the moment you tilt from underneath your chin if you hold your head up a little bit all the way down the whole front part of the body it is like a board underneath all those muscles you're coming down with weight on them at that angle, you're gonna become strong in an ultra position. So it's just kicking the legs up like this. And as you're doing it, hold on to that bar for balance. But that is a lot more intense than just doing that because you have more weight you've leveraged. For the side of the stomach muscles, you can kick out side to side for the obliques, but you can also kick off at a 45 degree angle. So instead of just kicking out straight in front of you, you kick out to the side of the more. Now you've leveraged the weight more along the side wall of the stomach muscles. And that works. So kicking out just like this, instead of like this, you're working. You can feel it when you put your hands on these muscles. That's pretty intense to strengthen the side muscle. Now keep in mind, I'm focusing on different areas, but just by bouncing, it's doing it anyway. <laughs> if you're doing a sit-up, you're only working a certain group of muscles that are doing the lifting. But when you cellar size, you alter the angle. You're working those muscles, but you're also working every other muscle all at the same time. They're all having to work on the resistance, and that's what makes it, again, so efficient and, and it's fun. You hold on to that balance bar again, and you see me do this. It's kicking out side to side. And as you kick out side to side, you can lean a little bit and it leverages more weight right here. So I can do it just by standing straight up. I'm still working it, you'll feel it. But if you slightly lean, you leverage more weight on that whole area of the body. And it's, it's, it's an awesome technique. Okay, to strengthen, um, let's talk about strengthening them, the muscles with the sit and bounce. And this comes back, especially to women, if you've had several children, um, the, you have a pro, prolapse that you're dealing with, as long as it hasn't torn, and usually that's not the case, but if you have any question, again, consult with your doctor. 
but generally this area can get stretched out, especially if you've had several children. So what we want to do is not just have the vertical movement. We want to sit down and sit back slightly so we have a little additional support. We're still going to work on this whole wall. So it's done. Can they see me okay, Griffin? Can I sit down here? Yeah. Oh, good. Okay. All right. So we start off, these are graduated movements that are extremely effective. I think personally they will blow any ab machine out of the water, um, but you want to approach it gently. You know? uh, One of the advantages of solar size, you play on it, it works on you. So just have fun on it and watch what happens. It's just it's kind of a natural progression. So you can put your hands right by your hips to help support your back when you first begin. And as you jump, sit backwards, tilt backwards just slightly, all these muscles, if you tilt, you can feel them, they're tight. That's great. Now you're gonna help support the back and gently bounce up and down. This is all being done with the stomach muscles. I'm not pushing with my hands, I'm just helping to support my back. Your feet are on the ground. As you tilt backwards, you can do this watching TV. You are working those muscles from the inside out, not just surface muscles, from the inside out. So as you get stronger, just take away your hands and continue to bounce. You're using your arms now, you're working the upper body and the chest muscles. As you tilt backwards slightly, all of these muscles are working hard to keep me going and that's what we want. Now as we continue to get stronger, we lean back a little further, lift up one leg. You just leverage the weight right there in the lower abdominals where it's exactly where you want to work. And notice you're sitting back some so you don't just have the vertical movement up and down. So that allows the inside of all the fascia, the connective tissues, to firm up as well. Now when that leg gets tired, lift up the other leg and you can go back and forth. And if you need to support your back a little bit, support your back some. But as you get stronger, you lift up both feet and you can bounce a little higher. And this is all working with these stomach muscles as well. As you continue to get stronger, now you can go in and out or up and down. And in that up and down, if you want to work more of the upper muscle, you can lie down further. So you just lie down this direction and same thing. So there's two ways of doing that. Now you can pull the legs in or lift the legs up. Irrespective, it's not like a typical leg lift because you're bouncing, which means you're putting more weight on those muscles without having to lift weights or put weights on your ankles or behind your head. You're just doing it naturally. And it's more of a natural strength that doesn't just target only those muscles. It's targeting all the supporting muscles around that area as well. And we have a lot of injuries um, from people that have over exercised one part of the body and it makes the body out of balance. But cellular size, you're always exercising in a balanced state even though you alter the angle of your body, it's still gonna become strong, but it becomes strong in an altered position. So again, it's just like this. You can pull the knees toward you or do it up and down. But you'll, you'll eventually feel it right there. So those, those are some of the movements that will strengthen the abdominals significantly um, on the cellular side. And of course, if you want to work on the obliques, you may have seen me do this one too. You're, and this is all on the Mr. Rebounder app. If you tilt backwards and you're bouncing up and down, if you want to go cheek to cheek, now you're working the obliques. <laughs> Both sides of the stumble. And that's a good one too. So, 
all of those. When you're done, I always recommend get on the solder sizer and just do a gentle twist just to help restore balance in those muscle areas. So I hope that answers the questions. It's very effective. It does build up the stomach wall and we want to burn off fuel. We do the, uh, the jamba run or the running several repetitions of it. So we're burning off glucose and sugars and burning off the white adipose tissue or the fat. Brooklyn, are there any questions? Um. Oh, my knee has really been hurting. Not oh. sure if I overdid it on the cellar sizer, but what would you recommend to help that? To help knees. Let's talk about briefly knees, because that's one of our one of the great benefits that we found with cellar size, myself included. When you have weak knees, it's best not to do, at least initially, any of the kickouts. Because the kickouts create a little bit of leverage that it's not bad, it's not jarring, but it, it might be uncomfortable. So we want to target the front part of the knee and the lateral knee. So we build up those supporting muscles and ligaments. And again, that's done just by keeping the back straight, feet flat. You're doing the jungle walk. This one right here, pushing down into the mat. You don't need to lift your feet up off the mat. And then from here, Okay, now you can do the jumper run. If you do that, work on pushing your knees out. So when you're doing the jumper walk, don't, don't allow the knees to turn in, like with so many exercises. Literally kind of press those knees out while you're doing it so you can help strengthen the alignment of the knees over the toes and over the feet as you're doing it. So you'll feel it more there. But that's a good thing. You want to really work on those supporting muscles and ligament in that knee area. And then the hip rock, side to side, very gentle, works thighs, hips, knees. If you, as you get better, then it's just a side to side bounce. Real simple, but it works very effective in working on the knees, thighs, and uh, hips. Um, as you get stronger still, you can go do the, uh, we call it the ski patrol, and that's all building up and strengthening the knee. So, any other questions, Rickman? Uh, no. All right. Thank you. Thanks for being part of the program tonight. Please feel free to share this with others. Our objective here is to help you get results, and you've all heard me say it, why work out when you can play in? Make it fun, convenient, easy, safe, portable if you need it to be, and please keep in touch and share, share your experiences with others. I don't know of anything that works like the solar sizer does. Um, I'm grateful for what it's done in my life, and someday I'll get my book done. And you can read some of the stories because they're remarkable. They really are. But thank you. God bless. And let's get together again in a couple weeks.